Hello students, welcome to the EPG Patshala. My name is Dr. Rajeshwadi Sinha and in today's lecture we are going to learn about measures of association. As the name suggests, you will see that this lecture deals with understanding parameters that help to quantify the association or relationship between two variables. This is an important aspect of biostatistics. Let us see what objectives we are going to address in this lecture today. We are going to see what are the measures of association and what are the various methods of analysis to estimate the strength of an association. In some cases, the methods of analysis have also been explained with examples for better understanding. We hope you have an enjoyable time listening to this lecture. What is association? As the name suggests, association implies a relationship. Measures of association. Measures of association indicate whether two or more entities are related to each other and help to quantify this relationship. In other words, the measure of association refers to a coefficient that measures the statistical strength of the relationship between two or more variables. Examples of related variables could be height and weight, birth and death rate, crop per acre and fertilizer, amount of pesticides used and intensity of food poisoning, age and blood pressure, antibiotics and bacteria etc. The methodology of studying the strength of relationship among the variables was given by Sir Francis Galton and Carl Pearson. Methods of analysis. The method used to determine the strength of association depends on the characteristics of the data for each variable. Two measures are commonly used. They are correlation and chi-square methods. Correlation. A correlation coefficient is a constant value used to measure the strength of the relationship between two variables which are numeric in nature, for example weight and height. It is independent of any change of origin of reference and the units of measurement. Two commonly used correlation coefficients used are Pearson's correlation coefficient and Spearman's rank order correlation coefficient. Pearson's correlation coefficient. This is the most commonly used correlation coefficient. It is represented as rho. It measures the strength of the linear relationship between two variables on a continuous scale. The coefficient r takes on values minus 1 to plus 1. When value of r is minus 1 or plus 1, there is a perfect linear relationship between the two variables. When the value is 0, there is no linear relationship. When value of r is in between 0 and 1, as one variable increases, the other also increases. This is a case of positive correlation, for example, positive correlation between height and weight. When the value of r lies between minus 1 and 0, as one variable increases, the other decreases. That is a case of negative correlation, for example, negative correlation between age and hours of sleep per night. The variation in one variable x has a constant ratio to the variation in the corresponding variable. The relationship between the two series is therefore linear. The formulas for calculating Pearson's correlation coefficient r or rho is given below. This is an example which shows the calculation of Pearson's correlation coefficient. This is another example which shows calculation of the Pearson correlation coefficient. The continuation of the previous example. Spearman's rank order correlation coefficient. To understand Spearman's rank order correlation coefficient, first we should understand what are monotonic relationships. Here, the variables tend to move in the same relative direction but not necessarily at a constant rate or linearly. This relationship is therefore monotonic but not linear as shown in the figure alongside. Linear relationships are also monotonic. Spearman's rank correlation coefficient is based on ranking of variables. It helps on dealing with qualitative characteristics. This is denoted by rho or r. It was introduced by Charles Edward Spearman in 1904. It is used to measure the strength of association between two variables which relate in a monotonic function. To calculate this, 
Variables in this data set are first ranked and compared. The Spearman's rank correlation coefficient is obtained by the formula provided below. Interpretation of the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient is given below. When the value of rho is close to minus 1, there is a negative correlation. When the value is close to 0, there is no linear correlation. When the value is close to 1, there is a positive correlation. The advantage of rank correlation coefficient is that it is simple to understand and easy to evaluate and can be used to understand the relation between both qualitative and quantitative data. This gives an example for the calculation of Spearman's rank order correlation coefficient is a continuation of the previous example. Another example for calculation of Spearman's rank order correlation coefficient. Continuation of previous example. So students, we have now reached midway into this lecture. We have studied Pearson's and Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. We hope you are finding this lecture useful. In the next section, we are going to look at a few more measures of association, namely the chi-square test, the relative risk and odds ratio. Let us take a look. Chi-square test. The chi-square test is another test used to measure the association between two variables which are categorical. Unlike Pearson's correlation coefficient or Spearman's correlation coefficient, which reflects strength of an association, the chi-square test is a measure of the significance of the association. The chi-square tests are used to decipher association between nominal data. A nominal data is data that can be put into classes, that is gender or type of job. If there is an association between two variables, chi-square is said to be significant. If not, it is non-significant. Chi-square test can also be used as a measure of goodness of fit. It is denoted by the Greek letter chi. Formula for calculating chi-square is given below. This is an example of calculating the chi-square in a particular data set. Continuation of the previous example. Relative risk and odds ratio. In epidemiology, several other measures of association between categorical variables are used. Two most commonly used are relative risk and odd ratio. These are discussed briefly in the following section. Relative risk or risk ratio is the ratio of the probability of an event occurring in an exposed group to the probability of the event occurring in a comparison, non-exposed group. It is used in randomized controlled trials or cohort studies. The interpretation of the relative risk value is given below. If the value is 1, there is no difference in risk between the groups the value is less than 1, there is less risk in the exposed group relative to the unexposed group. If the value is more than 1, there is greater risk in the exposed group relative to the unexposed group. This is an example to calculate the relative risk for a particular given data. Odds ratio. Another measure of strength of association for categorical data is the odds ratio. It is derived from a case control study. It compares the odds of disease of those exposed to the odds of disease those unexposed. Odds ratio equals to odds of disease in exposed by odds of disease in the non-exposed. The interpretation of odds ratio is as follows. When the value of odds ratio is less than 1, the event is less likely to happen and if the value of odds ratio is more than 1, the event is more likely to happen. We have now come to the end of this lecture. Thank you for being there with us. Let us summarize what we have learned today in this lecture before we end. Measures of association indicate whether two or more entities are related to each other and help to quantify this relationship. In other words, the measure of association refers to a coefficient that measures the statistical strength of the relationship between two or more variables. The method used to determine the strength of an association depends on the characteristics of the data for each variable. 
The two commonly used measures of association are correlation and chi-square. A correlation coefficient is a constant value used to measure the strength of the relationship between two variables which are numeric in nature, for example, weight and height. Two commonly used correlation coefficients used are Pearson's correlation coefficient and Spearman's rank order correlation coefficient. The chi-square test is another test used to measure the association between two variables that are categorical. The chi-square test is a measure of the significance of the association. Other measures of association between categorical variables are relative risk and odds ratio. Thank you for watching this lecture on measures of association.